Hi, I'm Sylvia Forney, Curator of Global Africa at the Royal Ontario Museum. Today for Rom From Home, I want to talk about an object that is a reminder of the importance of community, togetherness, and the effort that we put in our lives to fulfill our potential as humans, as individuals, and as, as members of our community. The work that I want to talk about is a chili pepper. <laughs> this colorful uh, wooden chili pepper is a miniature coffin that was made by Daniel Mensa, also known as Hollow, a coffin maker who works on the outskirts of the city of Accra in Ghana. Uh, Daniel Mensa, as many other coffin makers in this area of Ghana, produce regularly life-size coffins in the shape of a number of different things from agricultural products to fancy cars to airplanes to religious or political symbols that mark the success of an individual. This funerary tradition with sculptural beautiful coffins is something that has developed since the 1950s in this area of Ghana and that increasingly has become something that uh, has been picked up and admired by people from other parts of Africa and abroad. Since the late 1980s, coffins have also been exhibited as um, artworks in exhibitions about contemporary Africa and collected in museums. I collected this chili pepper in 2009 when I was in Ghana to purchase two coffins for the Royal Ontario Museum that are now in the gallery of uh, Africa, the Americas and Asia Pacific at the Rome. One big coffin is in the shape of a fish, the other is a Mercedes-Benz, and they are very common models used by the Ga people during their funerary practices. The miniatures, such as the one I'm holding, have been developed also in response and as a consequence of this attention that has been brought to these sculptures by curators and the art world in general, because the coffin workshops have become known outside um, the region and visitors to Ghana want to go and see the showrooms of the coffin makers uh, workshops as part of their tours of the city of Accra. Because of this, the coffin makers have developed smaller versions of the coffins that can be purchased and, and brought back home by visitors. And interestingly, these objects that were really conceived as souvenirs have also become now a new form of funerary uh, container as Ghanaians from the diaspora increasingly purchase these to contain the ashes of their family members who pass far away from home and who will not receive a funerary celebration like the ones that would if they were living in the town of Accra or Teshi. So the miniatures are objects a beauty contemplation are commercial objects, but they are in many ways a similar container to the original that they were meant to reproduce and represent or can become so as many objects do as they move through their paths of life and become different things depending on who owns them and admires them. So talking about funerals may not be the most happy thing to do in these grim times, but I think thinking about celebration and togetherness as a moment really of uh, essential uh, participation and humanity is something that is still relevant even in times of social distancing as we are all in our homes and cannot be together for 
a number of very good reasons. But the idea of coming together and being together to celebrate each other's achievements is a fundamental and very important aspect of our humanity that we need to keep reminding ourselves of and hopefully be able to live together again very soon. <laughs>